I'm, I'm a literal tennis racket. Alright, Timmy, so once you get the answer for number four, you're gonna want to round to the nearest tenth. Oh, what does estimate mean, Mr. Dennis? Uh, it's like when you guess the answer. Like, it doesn't have to be exact. Whatever comes to mind first. Oh, okay. Wow, I love math. Yeah, th that's great, Timmy. Really good job. Here's a special treat. Oh, would you look at that? Bye, Dennis. <sighs> Apple! Hey there, Joe. Uh, what you got there? Yeah, I'm over here in some broccoli, you know. Oh, uh, I didn't know you liked broccoli. <laughs> I don't. So, uh, what's the move, Joe? Yeah, so uh, what I'm saying is we're going to do some training today. You know what I'm saying? Do some uh, training type shit so you can get big and strong, yeah? Awesome. Yeah, all right. So uh, go ahead and follow me now, kid. I hope you're ready, Dennis. This workout's going to be pretty intense, yeah? You picking up what I'm putting down? Oh, sweet. Maybe some combat? Can I fight people now? Uh, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Going down. So, uh, today we're gonna be working on your agility training. You have to be ready for whatever comes flying at you. Oh, alright. Uh, sounds good, Joe. No rocket. Oh. Okay. Guess we'll have to do this with my hands. No hands. What? How, how am I supposed to hit the ball? Trust. Your. Head. This can't be productive. That's all right, Dennis. Remember, trust your head. Wink, wink. You know what I'm saying? Again. <laughs> Great work, Dennis. That's what I'm talking about, you know? You just have to use your head, like what I was saying earlier. But like literally with your head. Remember this shit for later. It might be important, yeah? Uh, y yeah. That really helped. Oh, fuck. I'm out of broccoli. Come on, Dennis. We have to go. We have to go get me some more broccoli now. Yeah, all right, Joe. If you say so.
Oh. Oh, I don't think you can go this way, Joe. Oh, uh, well, uh, I could do what I want, so, you know, doesn't really matter, yeah? I don't know, Joe. Wouldn't that be breaking the law? Well, as long as it's not hurting anyone, yeah? No one's gonna get hurt, you know? I appreciate your dedication to the law, Dennis. You respect it, and I respect that about you. It's what makes you a real hero. But sometimes, the law is flawed. You know what I'm saying? The law isn't always right. Sometimes it's corrupt. There's corrupt people out there, Dennis, passing corrupt laws. And we have to fight. Fight against the system, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense, Joe. I didn't really think about it that way. There's a lot I have to learn from you. Yeah. When I brought you in last year, you could barely put one foot in front of the other. But now, you're my fucking tennis racket protege. So why do you keep eating broccoli if you don't like it? Alright, uh, it's time for a flashback. I guess it's come to this, you know? Yeah, it's time for you to hear the full story. Oh, shit! You see, Dennis, I used to train this guy. He would come into my gym every day expecting me to turn him into a strong superhero or something. But he didn't have the patience. I told him being a superhero takes time and work. He didn't want to listen. That's when he went to his secret mad scientist lab. He heard that broccoli makes people big and strong and fast. So he took broccoli DNA and combined it with his own human DNA. But then a freak accident happened. He turned himself into an actual fucking broccoli. He blamed me for what happened. But had he been patient, this would have never happened. He vowed to get his revenge on me. He became the city's most notorious villain. He called himself the Broccoli. He had a distinct smell. You could always tell when the broccoli was nearby. We fought several times, and I always won. I was the motherfucking Dennis Rocket, you know what I'm saying? But then one day, he beat the shit out of me. So bad, I could never change to my true form again. And so I eat broccoli out of hate. Yeah. Wow, that makes so much sense. That, this broccoli guy sounds real bad. What happened to him? That's the thing, Dennis. I think he's still looking out there, waiting for the new tennis racket to make their first public appearance. That's why you need to be ready. You never know when evil will enter. Give me all your fucking money. This is it, Dennis. This is what you've been waiting for. Come on, Dennis. This is what you've been training for. <laughs> Don't make me use my fucking weapon! Stop right there, criminal! Return the money at once! <laughs> no, I ain't scared of you, tennis boy! Ugh. Ow! Ow! Oh, fuck! No one is a match for my oranges! You're no superhero. You're just a small floating tennis racket in a world full of scary bad guys like me. <laughs> Dennis, remember your training, Dennis. Use your hand. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Fuck. That actually fucking hurts. I'm getting out of here. I'm proud of you, Dennis. This is your first fight and you did real good. You listened to my training, yeah? Listen real good. And that's what makes you a great superhero, you know? Thanks. That means a lot, Joe. I just want to be like you one day. Good. You got what it takes. But don't live in my shadow. You gotta be your own superhero, you know what I'm saying? Now let's pay for this broccoli and get the fuck out of here. There's more work we have to do.
there. <laughs> who, who the fuck are you? I am... The Broccoli!